Good afternoon everyone. My name is Dr. Saijod Rao. Is 2D fluoroscopy reliable evaluation of perforation indices in MIS Telif? So MIS has been evolving and placement of percutaneous, uh, percutaneously screw have been evolving and been regularly used. It is important to know the factors involved in perforation and their clinical correlation and to assess the perforation indices in MIS Telif. Study evaluating perforation indices are scanty. So our aim is to evaluate the radio, uh, radiographic perforation perforation rate of CRD percutaneous pedicle screw instrumentation in MIS Telif. We took 300 consecutive patients in which 1200 screws were placed from 2012 to 2017. Single surgeon, single institute undergoing MIS Telif, which is degenerative lumbar spondylolisthesis grade 1 in a single level. Methodology, pedicle screw perforation, location, grading and critical versus non-critical plus neurological complications were evaluated. Perforation grading in CT scan where uh, grade 1 degree of cortical violation which is 0 0.022 mm of cortical violation which is seen in grade 1 picture. Grade 2 shows grade 2 uh, violation where there is 2 to 4 mm of cortical violation and grade 3 is critical where there is more than 4 mm of cortical violation. This is the Mirza et al. classification for perfor uh, pedicle perforation. Surgical procedure is uh, a general anesthesia prone position where we give paramedian incision and uh, we take 3 to 5 cm lateral to midline and lateral to pedicle to give medial convergence. And using a Janshadi or a Cook's needle, we start at the 2 o'clock position of the pedicle and we make sure that we do not cross the medial border of 9 o'clock in AP view so that we don't cross the medial border of the part uh, of the pedicle this is the picture which shows the incisions we evaluated by ct doing a ct scan of 2 mm axial slices with sagittal and axial reconstructive images adjacent parallel to the pedicle screws and was done after 3 weeks of the surgery we uh, we uh, saw direction of the perforation rate of perforation accuracy of placement perforation grading was done as per mirza et al classification screw penetration if it was more than 2 mm was critical less than 2 mm we found non critical so in 300 consecutive patients if of degenerative spondylolisthesis l4 l5 were 168 patient and l5 s1 level were 132 patients 55.5 uh, years was mean age 132 were male and 168 were female we found that there were 60 screws which were perforated, which was 5%. Most commonly, laterally, uh, the screws were perforated, which were 30. Medial perforation were 24. Grade 1 showed 42 uh, screws showed grade 1 perforation, which is 3.5%. Grade 2 showed 18 screws perforation. There were zero patients with grade 3 perforation. As we see in the table, L5 uh, pedicle screws were the most perforated screws in uh, all of total 60, uh, patient, uh, 60 perforated screws. And perforation is, was mainly lateral. This is the demographic data and uh, shows grade 1 and grade 2 perforations only. So now VAS and ODI scores, which was uh, in uh, perforated and non-perforated patients group shows significant improvement. There was no neurological injury or CSF leak in any cases. Perforation rate with BMI of more than 30 was significant higher than perforation rate with BA patients with BMI, which was less than 30. The increase in depth of spine, which is the depth of spine more than 50 mm showed higher incidence of perforation. Type. In fatty obese patients, the incidence were higher. This is a K, uh, paper where uh, by Nils Hansen et al showing 9.4 percentage of perforation rate and the most of the screws were perforated laterally as compared to our paper. Uh, we also had similar observations in conventional open methods. Perforation rate were 1.5 to 25 percent in 2D fluoroscopy guided lumbar region uh, studies 2.6 to 14.3 perforation was seen previously in a study most of the perforation was seen medially laterally and second was medially most of them were grade one uh, perforations and there were no screw related complication our study results were also same um, in high bmi patients it is uh, most uh, difficult to find the landmarks anatomical landmarks so we should be very vigilant in these patients obesity brings excessive blood uh, bleeding muscle retraction becomes more difficult so in uh, bulky patient more attention should be given and we should converge more because uh, the screws have been perforating laterally this is a paper where a screw inserted freehand were perforated more medially and those with uh, put which uh, put with fluoroscopy or navigation were perforated laterally so again we have to uh, be sure make sure that we start laterally and go medial convergence
tips for safe medical screw placement is you to start more lateral in the skin incision of uh, lumbar vertebrae for right trajectory we should be vigilant by using the cook's needle or jamshed needle so that there is no guide wire advancement or pull out surgeon should make sure that it makes a pilot hole before entering the pedicle to avoid slippage and to save time uh, all the four uh, pedicles should be cannulated and uh, ap projection should be taken then with four all four guide wires in we should take a lateral projection so what we conclude is we had a 5% of perforation which were non critical uh, perforation rate most of the perforation were lateral or medial and you should be always aware beware in obese and high risk patient safe zone in lumbar spine is 2 mm of perforation there were no neurological complications or significant odi vascular difference in grade work perforation so we conclude that cm is a reliable for mis technique and is acceptable procedure with low rate of screw related complications and revisions thank you